I'm going to show you a couple of the cool features that you get to take advantage of when you become a pro user at FlixPress.com. First of all, I want to show you uploading your own audio and video for use inside of our pro templates. So simply go to My Account and then navigate to the My Content tab. And you'll notice that I don't have any video or audio uploaded right now. So let's take care of that. First of all, I'm going to upload some video. And I'm going to choose a video of a couple of dummies I'm friends with right here. Because I'd like to be able to use that on FlixPress. So I'll go ahead and open up that file and click Upload. Now this is going to take a little while, so we're just going to skip this part and bring you right to the end of the file upload process. When the video is finished uploading, you'll be allowed to name the video whatever you'd like. I'll name it after my dear friends, Polo and Vern, and submit that name. Now it might take a little while to process the video, so you won't have access to it immediately, but let's take this time to go ahead and upload some audio as well. So I'll click the Upload button and again choose some audio. Now in my case, I'm going to choose some audio that's already available on our website through our audio library, but I'm doing this just so you can see what the process is like. And again, you're going to have the option to rename that file. I'll call it My Music, just for grins, and submit that. At this point, if I refresh the page, I'm likely to see both my video and audio ready to go. So now I'll show you how to integrate your uploaded video and your uploaded audio into our pro templates. So simply navigate to the automated templates page and choose a pro template to get started. Now you can either choose one that's available to you right on this front page, or you can group them all together by clicking FlixPress Pro in the left-hand navigation menu. And you'll see that at the time of this recording, we have four templates to choose from. I'm going to choose Explainer Pro B, which features a handsome young gentleman, if I do say so myself. I'll go ahead and click Next to begin customizing. I've already read these instructions, so I'll indicate that I have and move along. This particular template does require that you upload four images to get started. So I'll go ahead and pick my four images and upload those. None of my images are going to need to be cropped, so I can just click Next all the way through these screens. Now, I'm not going to go over every feature that we have available to you in the Pro Templates. Uh, if you're interested in how this whole interface works, you can actually click the Help button up here, which will bring up a video, video will jump start. that'll kind of explain a little bit more in detail how all of this works. I'm just going to breeze through this first layout here just so you can see how it works in general. Uh, so the first layout by default is going to be layout number one, which features me waving. I mean this handsome young gentleman waving uh, where you can input your own text. So I'll say, meet my friends in the text box. I can change the text color if I'd like, so I'll go ahead and do that. Change it to a nice Flix Press Red. Click OK. And at this point, I'd like to add another slide underneath this one. Now I can either add a blank slide, which will default to layout number one, or I can duplicate this slide. In my case, I'm not going to use layout number one again, so I'll just click to have a new slide altogether and slide down here to this layout number 34, which I know features a custom video. So this is where I'll be able to use the video that I've uploaded. Now, if you don't have a custom video, you can use layout number 33 in this particular template. Each template is a little bit different, and if you want to know what each layout does, you can simply double-click. Layout number 33. This and you get an explanation video to let you know what's going on. But like I said, I know layout 34 is a custom uploaded video, so I'm going to click to customize, and you'll see there's my video of Polo and Vern. So I'll go ahead and drag that into the selection pane, click select, and they're good to go. And I will go ahead and label this video Polo and Vernie. So at this point, I might be wondering how all of this is falling together, so why don't we go ahead and render a preview? Now, if I click this checkbox right here, 
my account will not be charged when I submit my video for rendering. So I'll click Submit and navigate to the View My Previews page. You can see here that these pro layouts might take a little bit longer to render because they have a whole lot more options than the regular videos, but as you've just noticed, that rendering can be accomplished pretty quickly. So I'll go ahead and click to preview or edit, and I know I'm going to edit, but I just want to see how it looks so far. Okay, looks good. I'd like to go ahead and add a 3D object to this layout just so you can see how those work as well. So I'll click edit and you'll see here that I'm able to edit right from where I left off when I submitted that preview. So I want to add a 3D object, so I'll go ahead and click the plus button to add a new slide, and I happen to know that layout number 36 is a 3D object, so I'll drag that in to the thumbnail placeholder, and I'll click to customize. Now we have a bunch of 3D objects that you can choose from, I'm going to go ahead and choose from the technology section and use the laptop and drag that in there. Incidentally, if you want to know how each 3D object works before you select it, you can double click the icon to see a video which will explain exactly how each 3D object works. Now I'm ready to go. All I need to do is insert the title and I'll be really creative and call it my laptop. And I happen to know that option number one for this particular 3D object will display above the keys on the keyboard. So let's call it QWERTY, just for grins. And if I want an image displayed on screen, and I do, I'll drag one of my uploaded images into the image placeholder, like so. Now at this point, I want to go ahead and add some audio to my increasingly bizarre video that I'm creating here. And I would like to use audio that I've uploaded which I can do by clicking on this folder icon here. If I wanted audio from our audio library here at FlixPress, I would click this little musical icon here. But like I said, I'll use the one I've uploaded and just drag it into the selection pane and click Select. Now at this point, I've got a fully fleshed out video. I've got three slides ready to go. They're all filled out and I've got some music underneath my video. At this point, I just need to choose my rendering options. So I'm going to choose an HD render, and I'm going to go ahead and go for the extended hosting just in case I want access to this video on FlixPress.com for more than 10 days. Now, even though I've made some pretty extensive changes to this template, I'm going to go ahead and uncheck preview because I know that everything I've done is 100% correct. I don't suggest that you do this, but I'm pretty comfortable with the exact workings of this layout and the 3D object I've chosen. Now I'm going to go ahead and click Submit and order my video. My account will be charged, and I'm okay with that because I'm ready to go. Again, take a second to like us on Facebook. We'd really appreciate it. I'm going to view my orders, and in this particular case, the render is going to take a little bit longer than it did last time. The video is longer and the quality is higher, so you can expect to wait a little bit longer. You can either go about your day and wait until you get an email from us, or you can hang out on this screen and wait until the render is complete. Most of the time, it's only going to take a couple of minutes for it to finish rendering. But when our site is under heavy load, you might notice it's a bit longer. In my case, the video is ready to go. So I'll go ahead and preview this video just so we can see what we've created here. And that's it. So at this point, I can download the video using this button here and choose to do it in standard definition, high definition. I can upload it to YouTube. I can share a link to it, uh, to the video with my friends via this button here. Um, or I can convert it to a different file format using this gear icon here. And if the render failed for some reason, if something went horribly wrong, you can go ahead and report that as a problem with this button here. In the meantime, I hope you enjoy creating video using our pro account features at flixpress.com.